Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good. So I'm starting a new playlist all about UI path. If you are new to UI path or want to learn more, you are in the right place. In today's session, we are going to learn how to determine if a number is even or odd. And I will guide you through building your very first automation workflow from scratch. You will learn how to use sequence, activities and variables. So without any further delay, let's get started. So let's start by creating a new project. Click on this process. As soon as you click on this process, you will see this pop-up window where you are expected to provide name and description to your project. Let's name it as even or odd. Name it anything that best describes it. Okay. And let's provide a description to have a common understanding of this project. Check if a number is even or odd. Okay. Now I'm going to hit this create button. So as soon as you hit the create button, you will be landed on this screen. This is your design canvas where you drag and drop activities from this activity panel, connect them and build the overall process flow. In this video, we will be working with sequence workflow type. We have four types of workflow and sequence is one of them where activities are executed sequentially. When I say sequentially, I mean one after the other in the order they are placed. Okay, so in order to be able to determine whether the number is even or odd, we need to take the input from the user, right? So to do that, we use dialog box activity okay. here in the search panel, just type in the name dialog input dialog. Okay, drag it and drop it over here. So we have dragged and dropped the input dialog onto a design canvas which will allow user to enter some value during the execution of this workflow. Okay, now let's set the title of this dialog box, which appears at the top of the dialog window and help users understand the purpose of this dialog box. Let's set it as enter a number. Remember when it's a string, it must be inside double quotes. Okay, and then comes input label which actually instructs the user on what information they need to provide. Okay, let's just name it as number. And then we have two types of input types, text box and multiple choice. So in our case, we need a text box. So let's just keep the default. And then we have this value entered to store the value to store the input provided by the user. Okay, and we will be storing the input in a variable. All right, so now let's create a variable to store the number we want to check. Click on this variables panel at the bottom of the screen, which allows you to create, modify and delete variables. You can also define variable types and scopes. Okay, let's name it as input number, input number and set its type to in 32. In 32, there we go. Cool. Now just click on this again to hide this section and here in this value entered, we can just pass that variable. Okay. Input number. Also, if you wish to rename this dialog box, you can do that by just clicking on this three dots. And here we have this rename option to rename this activity. Okay. Now we need to add an if activity to check the number is even or odd. So let's drag the effectivity into the workflow. Okay, let me just clear my previous search and I'm going to type in if let me just now drag it and drop it underneath this. Cool. This is where we need to specify the condition which should be a VB expression. Okay. And we are going to use modulo operator to check if there is no reminder when dividing by two. If the result is zero, the number is even. Otherwise, it's odd. We need to check, right, if this variable input number is completely divisible by two or not. Okay. Input number mod operator. Okay. Two is equal to zero. If there is no remainder left when dividing it by two, that means it's an even number. So here, inside the then branch of the activity let's add a message box activity to display that the number is even okay so let's just drag the message box activity into the then branch box 
drag it and drop it inside then branch and set the text to the number is even okay as i said before if it's string it has to be put inside double quotes okay the number is even and in the else branch we will add another message box activity to indicate that the number is odd okay i'm gonna drag it again and drop it inside else branch and set its text to the number is odd the number is odd cool that's it your workflow should now look like this okay so now let's run our project to see it in action over here you have to just run this file as soon as you run your project you will see this pop-up window and here you have to provide the number you want to check okay let's first check 45 I'm gonna click this OK button and a message box appears and says the number is odd which is correct 45 is an odd number okay now let's rerun our project and this time we will be providing some even number I'm gonna click this OK button and this will take me back to my project let's again click on debug file then run file this time let's check 42 okay and it says the number is even which is correct 42 is an even number so that is it if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more such tutorials i'll see you guys in my next video cheers bye bye